everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dazzly Dave and this is your Premier League match preview for our team, Wolverhampton Wanderers against one of our local rivals, Aston Villa at Molyneux. So yeah, so we move on to this one, isn't it? Uh, and it becomes quite a, a key game, really, for probably for for both sides. We're going to have uh, Max from Villa on tour giving the Aston Villa fan perspective, and of course, my dad will be there with his furry friend as well uh, to give his thoughts and his prediction ahead of this one. I'm going to obviously give you my team, and also at the end, give you my score prediction. I want to see whether you agree with me in the comment section. Uh, below. So let's move on to uh, obviously on to the game itself. Wolves suffering obviously one of their worst performances of the season probably mainly in the second half against Liverpool. We're okay up until that uh, mistake from Cody. Let's, let's face it, we have to forgive him for that. He doesn't make many players make mistakes and then we sort of lost our way and lost our confidence. We do know that Ross Barkley won't be available for Villa and in fact they're not on the, they had a fantastic start to the season almost thought they were going to do a letter at one point really really started well but they have lost four out of their last five games I think Ross Barkley could be quite a, a key miss for them saying that they're still in a great position they've got two games in hand on Wolves obviously with the Newcastle game uh, getting postponed uh, because the uh, coronavirus in the, the Newcastle uh, camp so they've had a little bit more of a quite a long rest now whether that will work for them or against them uh, obviously not having a game for a couple of weeks we'll have to wait and see obviously Wolves uh, normally do under Nuno bounce back after a perform poor performance we saw it against West Ham uh, and we obviously absolutely got uh, walloped by um, actually an understrength Liverpool team at Anfield but I think we've got to also take into account I didn't really think that maybe 2,000 fans would make much, that much big difference but it, by all accounts if you look at the stats uh, before fans in the stadium and the teams that have had fans I think every team have won their game with uh, fans in the stadium and I know um, that the, the Liverpool fans made a huge noise in the cop so maybe that's a little bit of a disadvantage for teams such as Villa and Wolves at the moment who are in tier three that, that don't have fans currently in the stadium we all hope that that will change soon let's give you my team I, I thought Personally, I'm uh, not one to criticise Nuno because he does a fantastic job managing the team, and you're always going to. But I did think he caught, he got it wrong for Liverpool. Although saying that, we did start quite well, and we're looking comfortable until the mistake. But I would have hoped that he would have started the same formation, the same team that played the majority of the game against Arsenal and I was a bit disappointed that he didn't give Fabio Silva another stock. I thought he did okay and we're only going to really see and uh, see him by him starting. So this is my team uh, which I've done with Pitch Football app for this particular game. So Patricio in goal. I think it looks like we're sticking with the back four again. Um, they did quite well against Southampton and Arsenal. We had that. They were all over the place. Yes, against Liverpool, but uh, on the left hand side, uh, we're going to go with Marcel. On the right hand side, with Semedo. I know he's coming for a little bit of stick on his defence, but I think he, he he is really still settling in. He's had to play that that system with the three centre backs, and now he's having to adjust to this as well. Bear in mind, in the middle, I'd like to see Moutinho start with Dendonka. I don't think Neves has been quite on it uh, so much recently. Um, and then going forward, I'd like to see Fabio leading the line. I know he's an uh, Raul Jimenez. He's not as good in the air. He's not as strong. He's not as experienced. He does have quite a lot of technical skills. And, you know, he come, I think because he's come with such a high price tag, that's put a little bit of pressure on him. He has scored in the under-23s. I think he just needs a goal. And he just needs to be played. Um, you know, and then it'll, it'll come. But the reason why I want him to play is that it does give the opposition team something else to think of and having that presence in the box. How many, bo uh, uh, how many times did you see um, 
Trory whip a, whip a ball into the box. There's no one in the middle in the last game, so hopefully he can take that. And then if you've got Daniel Pedence, Neto and Traore behind them and they can all interchange, I think that gives defences a lot uh, to think about. And, you know, I think that will give the Villa defence a lot to, to think about. So that would be my team. What do you think about that? If that is the 4-2-3-1 um, system. <laughs> Let me see what you let me know what you think about that. And um, if Wolves were to beat Villa um, for because we beat them twice last year, I think it'd be I think I read a stat that it'd be the first time in something like sixty years we've beaten them three times on the bounce. So that would be nice. I think we've beaten them four out of the last six. The teams are a lot closer this year than it has been in the previous couple of years. We were having, as I say, a decent start of the season, a little bit of intermittent fall, but a lot could be said about Wolves as well. So yeah. Let's go over to Max um, from uh, the Villa View YouTube channel for his thoughts ahead of this one. Hello Dave and all the Wolves fans, Max here from Villa on Tour. Now I'm a Villa fan obviously and uh, we've got Wolves away on Saturday lunchtime at Molyneux. Now I think it's going to, it's, it's a really hard one to call actually because I think playing away might suit us in a way because I think on the counter attack will be good. Hopefully you know we'll have more of the ball and that will suit us. Um, no Ross Barkley for us which is going to be a massive miss. Hopefully Grealish doesn't you know, when Grealish has all the pressure on himself and sometimes when we played West Ham the other week, it was kind of the same. You know, he takes it all on himself and there's so much pressure on him. And it's just so frustrating to watch from a Villa point of view. So hopefully we don't see that. Hopefully he runs the show. You lot will kick him all over the place. We know that. Um, but yeah, it'll be an interesting one. No Raul Jimenez, obviously, for you lot. When you played Liverpool, it was obviously such a massive miss and that 4-0 defeat. Um, but I think it's, it's a really hard one to call for me. I think I'm not going to put my neck on the line and say... You know, either team will win. I'll say probably a draw, 1-1 one, one, in my opinion. I'll probably take a point at Molyneux, you know, even without Raul Jimenez. Quality, quality side and I'll probably take a point. Um, as well, he did the double over us last season and in the last six games, I think you've beaten us four times. So I'll take a point, 100%. Um, good luck for the rest of the season, Wolves. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at Villa Park later on in the season. Up the Villa. Thanks ever so much, Max. And without any further ado, we have to. Of course we do. You love him being on on the preview. So again, I've managed to do a, a video call with him. It's my dad uh, with his thoughts ahead of this one and his score prediction, Magic Mark. So, hey, Dad, I can see you got your furry friend there. For everyone that don't know who he is, what's his name? Yeah, he, he had been very well. What's been up with him? I didn't take him to the vets. Did you? He got, he got upset about the Wolves losing to Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet he did as well, Dad, I bet he did. Yeah, he's upset him. Did it? He's upset me as well. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Dad, that's... Oh, sad I eat that... But uh, let's not worry about Liverpool. Let's walk on. Uh, let's worry about the Wolves versus Aston Villa game coming up at the weekend. It's a, an early kick off, half past twelve, I think. Um, how how are you feeling about this one, Dad? Well, I think I should. I should beat Villa. I hope so. Anyway, they you, usually do. Well, we have beat them the last two times, but we've not beat them three times in a row for six sixty years. What do you reckon? At the top line. Well, what are you reckoning, Dad? What's your score prediction? Uh, are you, do you need to confer with Sydney? Uh, what did you say, Sydney? said 2-1. T Sydney's 2-1. And who are you gonna, who, who's going to score, Dad? Uh, Bonanza. Bonanza. You mean, and, you mean Pedence? Yeah, Pedence. he's played really well the last couple of games. Daniel Pedence, yes, but you call him Bonanza. Yeah. And who else? And Neto. It's going to be. A, what's his first name? Is it Ryan? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ryan Neto. Pedro no. Neto. Oh my God! You still love Bennett, uh, Dad. You still uh, love oh, Bennett. His name was Ryan. So, and, Neto, yeah. and you go and just uh, was t uh, uh, he doesn't say a lot, does he, Sydney? Hey. Sydney don't say much. Well, he been, he been very well. He don't bark or anything, does he? No and again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Well, I love you lots. Thank you very much. Okay. So you're going what you go two one. You'll have two to watch one. the video, won't you? Yeah, I will do. Yeah, I will definitely. Uh, yeah. All right, love you, Dad. Love you. Keep the good wake up. Love you. Love you. Thanks ever so much.
dad. So on to what I think the score will be myself. Oh, will you agree with me or not? We'll see. I'm going to go with Wolves 3, Aston Villa 1, which is basically the same score as I went with for the Liverpool game. So I'm going to try it again and hope that we get the result. Uh, Wolves do have the best defensive record at home currently in the Premier League. I'm expecting a reaction uh, from the team uh, that Nuno would have drilled them more. I'm hoping, like I say, that he does, uh, you know, stick with the back four. Um, if we, that's what we're doing at the moment, and we, because we have been creating chances, we have even against Liverpool, we created chances. We just got torn apart a bit, and um, and I hope he gives Fabio Silva the opportunity to start. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation about what could happen in the January window, bringing a striker in, and that will play out. Obviously, the you know the closer we get, and um, but I think it's really important that we do get a result. Uh, against Villa and we bounce back with three points. It is a tough set of fixtures at the moment, so fingers crossed. Wolves 3, Aston Villa 1. I'm Dazzling Dave. Until the next one, always Wolves.